everybody, John Henderson here, the Beer Ramble, looking at Sam Adams Summer Ale. Perfect for this time of year. I'm out here in the backyard in the deck. Again, I've got the pool in the background, as you can see. Hold on. Got a nice chair that I'll try to wash this hair just a little bit. So. Anyway, back. Uh, we're looking at this. 5.3 ABV. This is an American Wheat Pale Ale style. Uh, this is uh, one of Sam's many seasonals or signature seasonals, seasonal beers that they put out this time of year. It's available from March all the way through the month of July or maybe beginning of August, I guess. Wheat ale brew with lemon peel and grains of paradise. Whatever the hell that bloody thing means. With its hazy golden color, this American wheat ale is bright like a summer day. This crisp citrus character of noble hops combines with the wheat, lemon peel, and erotic peppery spice grains of paradise to create a lively, delicious, and utterly refreshing brew. Cheers. Jim Cook, our good friend, of course, the founder of Sam Adams, um, 1984, of course, the signature Boston Lager, the Rebel IPA, and a couple of other great beers they put out. Um, saw this at my favorite store, Rouse's, um, and here in Mobile, Alabama. Never mind, you hear, hear my friend, friendly chickens over there crowing. Um... So I had to go ahead and buy this beer. Oops, I'm starting sipping now. Let's take a look at the beer. It has those colors, as you can see, as I mentioned in the uh, reading. Very orangey, or a light orange, but, you know, sort of has that, that color to it. Very a lot of lacing. You see how frothy that top is right there. A lot of head, as you can see. Scent. It definitely has that scent of orange peel. Well, lemon peel, I should say. But it's more orange than lemony to me, in my opinion. So, on to the taste. Beer Advocate and the Bros giving an okay score, like in the 70s, mid, mid 70s, somewhere around there. It's not bad, guys. You know, uh, first time I had this, if I'm trying to recall, it was 2001. I was working for the baseball team, the Jackals up in New Little Falls, New Jersey, or Montclair, New Jersey, wherever the hell that is. Um, uh, they had a baseball team. I was on the campus of Montclair State University. Or Montclair, yeah, Montclair State College. And now Montclair State University is called now. So um, they had a campus there. And uh, and they had, they built, they build their baseball team there so it was kind of cool and I would work there during the summer a little side cash I was going through some crap then but uh, I had sampled um, one evening um, uh, I guess I had called out for work but they didn't know that so I just kind of hid and hide <laughs> well, anyway make a long story short won't incriminate myself but anyway I had uh, sampled the sand the summer ale and I thought it was a pretty decent beer um, I take that back it was not a baseball game it was uh, the baseball stadium did host we hosted a concert we had Joan Jett and the Blackhawks and uh, Tesla I think it was Tesla 
I think that was the name of the group. It was a rock band. Um, they had their famous song called The Sign. Um, and a bunch of other rock bands. And Sam Adams was the was the sponsor. And it was a local, very popular rock station um, in New Jersey. 101.1 WDHA, New Jersey's rock, ultimate rock station, I believe it was. And... Um, Anyway, we were, it was the end of the day, they, nobody knew what was going on, but anyhow, make a long story short, again, not to incriminate myself, we sampled some of this, Summer Ale, and we really enjoyed it, and that was back in 2001, so it's uh, been a while since I've had this, um, again, nothing against Sam Adams, uh, these are, I won't consider them a standby beers in my refrigerator, you know, again, you know, natural ice, hot ice, Milwaukee's best. Uh, anything that is reasonably priced is pretty much what I'm going for. I mean, say what the hell you want to say about me. Don't give a hoot. Um, but I'm a cheap person. Person who's reasonably likes to find things that are reasonably priced for my pocket, um, and but this wouldn't be considered an everyday beer. But anyway, as far as this beer, um, I had it in back in 2001, so it's been a while since I've had this. So not bad. Perfect as of right now. We're in that time of year now. It's we're in late May, and uh, this is. Would be perfect, uh, you know, bringing us to a party. Uh, this is a barbecue beer. You know, barbecue. This is a beer that I can, you know, uh, bring. You could bring to a party or social function. Yeah, you can. Um, depends on the group of people you're bringing to. Um, this some folks will look at. Wow, this is exotic. What kind of beer this is? Um, it's summer ale has been around for. You know, almost a jillion years right now. I think it's maybe going on 15 years, maybe longer than that. So, and the others will say, you know, get the sh crap out of here, man. You know, got any Budweiser, any Bud Light? You know, that that's kind of how it goes. So, um, as as far as the taste, it has, you could taste some of that lemon citrus uh, with this beer. A bit tart, but you can get by with this. You know, it's okay. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. Um, as far as pairings, go with this beer, maybe uh, a salad, a nice garden chef salad, um, you mentioned bolognese, that can work with this beer, pasta or something like that, um, but I'm thinking more of a salad. You know, with all a cob, uh, you know, a cob salad. You know, uh, salad with with a uh, Caesar salad with with chicken strips or, or fried chicken strips, whichever. I think that would pair well with this with this beer. Um, the, the cheeses of the Parmesan cheese. You know, I think that 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 would come, the pairings would 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 match quite well with this. So. Um, you know, and as I mentioned all my other videos about Jim Cook, you know, good, good guy, you know, but, you know, he's, he's not a crap guy. He's a big, he's a big boy. He's on the table with the big boys and he's putting out beers that we all enjoy, but to give the impersonation that he's a crap guy is just, just completely false. He's not. Um, he is sitting at the table with the Buds and the Millers and the, and, you know, wheeling and dealing and, you know, and what, what I also, what I, I mean, which is okay. And what I, what I admire about, um, about.
about uh, Jim Cook is that his distribution has been very successful. I mean, he's even gone, I don't know if he's out there, but I'm sure people I've talked to say that he's out. People in my Facebook group or follow me on, on YouTube says a lot of his beers are out there out on the West Coast, so which is pretty good, you know, for a craft guy. Which he, you know, he's he's a brewer. He's a big boy brewery. He's 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 part of the BMC, Bud Miller Coors and B, the BBB, the BBMC, Boston Beer Company, Bud Miller Coors. Or maybe I should say that. Maybe BMCS, Bud Miller Coors Sam's. So, but he's, but still, his beers are quite exceptional, quite enjoyable, and I've, I've always enjoyed them, you know. So, but anyway, uh, as far as this one, I'm going to give the same grade. I'm going to give it a B. Say that would be that would be an eight, not seven and a half, but I'll give this an eight for for the beer. Maybe it might be a little overboard, but it's 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 good. Five point three, it's decent. So eight for the score for the summer ale. If I that score is not fair or think it's full of crap. And we think I'm full of crap. Believe me, I've heard worse. Leave your comments and statements on the bottom. John and St. Pierre, the beer and TV Ramble, telling you to keep on watching. And as always, cheers. Have a good day, people.